Okay, good evening everybody and thank you for, for being here. Um, my speech title is this, The Internationalization of Universities as a Way for Cultural Diplomacy, the case of the Public University of Navarra. You know that the internationalization of universities is a phenomenon which is not new, but has been exp expanding greatly uh, of late. According to a widely accepted definition, the internationalization of a university is a process aimed at introducing intercultural, international, and global dimensions in the university with the aim of improving the quality of education and research. Several voices alert of the risk of the commercialization which might arise with the internationalization of universities. But we agree with the idea that the international cooperation in higher education should be based on fundamentals such as solidarity, mutual respect, the promotion of humanitarian values and intercultural dialogue. dialogue. Internationalization impregnates and concerns all levels of the university and it should not be limited to the mobility of students made a tangible reality most, most especially uh, through the well-known Erasmus program. Such mobility is obviously a tool of internationalization but is not a name. Many other factors have also contributed to this mobility. The ease of transportation, the generalization of grants and aid to promote mobility, created business sources that explore economic and social agents to promote mobility, the desire or a need to learn languages, the need for specialization and differentiation in the CV faced with an even more complex and demanding labor market, the need for specialization, so the interest of host, of host universities in being attractive and visible, the interest of universities in providing students with uh, up-to-date training adapted to the global world, the desire of universities in, in specializing, ex excelling, and boosting the quality, and also the interest of governments themselves in internationalizing their, their country or region, for which the internationalization of universities can contributes at times deci decisively to the internationalization of regions and, and countries. Well, I'm sure that you all are familiar with the, with the definition of uh, cultural diplomacy, but uh, let's read it. The essential idea uh, of uh, this cultural diplomacy is to allow people access to different cultures and perspectives, and in this way, foster mutual understanding and dialogue. The main purposes are to strengthen relationships, enhance sociocultural cooperation, and promote national interest. So in view of this definition, few institutions, I believe, play such a significant role in cultural diplomacy as universities through their internationalization. Let's explore how internationalization permits an expansive development of cultural diplomacy. Foreign students and scientists bring their culture to the place where they study. So they are kind of ambassadors of their country wherever they go, and uh, vice versa, they absorb the culture of the place where they study. Companions of these visitors and the whole university community undergo this internationalization at home. Countries struggle to offer the best research and to attract the best scientists, gaining influence, prestige, and respect, creating country brand, and attracting investment, generating flows, and its favor. Students and scientists in mobility create bonds with the land and the institution they, they visit, um, often effective. This gives rise to numerous, in numerous interactions, sometimes of unpredictable nature and dimension. But let's speak, let, let's talk, let's say something about the case of the public university of Navarra. 
this university, the public University of Navarra, uh, so far UBNA, is situated in the autonomous region of Navarra, North Spain, in the border with, with France. And its uh, main campus is located in the capital city, Pamplona. Yeah, so typical features of, of Navarra, uh, in which the we have a huge contrast between the north and the south, from deserts to, to, to forests, and the very famous uh, running of the wolves in, in, in the capital city, in Pamplona. Uh, Ubna is a general university with around uh, 7,000 undergraduate students and 600 master's students and around 300 doctoral students. And currently we offer 18 degrees, 27 masters and 20 doctoral courses. courses. And uh, internationalization is, a, is clearly one of its priorities. UBNA participates in many international programs. And the most important are illustrated next. Outstanding among its internationalization activities is the mobility of, of undergraduate students. With its, its um, around uh, 250 agreements with universities in 50 countries throughout the world, it sends around 4% of its, its students abroad, place it, placing uh, in the top of the Spanish universities. And similarly, it receives dozens of students from all over the world. Overall, overall about 5.5% of the students in UBNA are foreign. There are two projects which, in my view, distinguish our international uh, strategy, the China project and our program Solidarity Training, and I will explain them briefly. UBNA has been and continues to be significantly present in Europe and um, in, uh, in America, but uh, however, uh, our involvement with Asia was minimal, and we decided to try to make up uh, for this deficiency aware at the present time of the importance of Asia for all intents and purposes. We opted to concentrate our efforts on a net strategic approach with China. In this purpose, eminent Navarrese figures dating back to the seven, 16th century, such as Martin de Rada or San Francisco de Javier, occupied an strange but authentic vitalist seeing role in our thoughts. The aims of UBNA with China project are first to promote inter-university cooperation and cultural, educational, and technical exchange through the mobility of students. So far, a dozen agreements have been signed with universities in different geographical and economic areas in, in the country, from Guangdong to Chile. And another objective is to set up joint projects for masters and doctorates with Chinese universities. In this context, highlights the the Spanish-Chinese Master in International Trade, together with the University of Foreign Studies for Guangdong, and the joint doctorate program on health law with the Southern Medical University in Guangzhou, also in Guangzhou. <coughs> this is a, a map with the, where the, the universities in with which we have a, an agreement you know, are, lo are, lo are located. Um, very important is that in our China project, um, it's basic, the mutual profit of the cooperation. So we do not just look for recruiting students, we look for a deep uh, mutual cooperation. And at this moment, China is the country with the la great greatest number of foreign students in our university. Another <coughs> particular project uh, uh, within our international uh, strategy is the solidarity train training. Solidarity training is a program particular to the UBNA framed in the university cooperation to development with which uh, it's hoped to strengthen solidarity and the values of development cooperation, cooperation among the students and teachers. Furthermore, it offers practical training in the world of international cooperation, which has often determined and oriented the professional future of its participants. There is always a partner university advising our students uh, and this university is also actively participating in the cooperation. And of course, the credits are also transferred to our students, to, to UBNA. Mm, countries involved are El Salvador, Guatemala, Ecuador, Bolivia, Peru, and Mozambique in Africa. I'd like to, to say a few words about the significance for Navarra and for our university of this international uh, strategy. We do believe that the significance for Navarra 
in the medium and long term of this mobility, both in coming and outgoing, could be very great. Navarra has traditionally been quite an inward looking, very conservative region, given their rural culture closely tied to the land, etc. Uh, in spite of ab abundant examples of great adventurers, erudite men, scholars, etc., such as Yehuda Halibi, Benjamin de Tudela, Martin de Rada, Fran San Francisco de Javier, Jerónimo de Allanz, Miguel de Serret, Juan de Palafox, Santiago Ramón y Cajal, etc. The acceleration of industrialization from the 60s completely revo revolutionized the region. And the creation in 1987 of the Public University of Navarra has represented a great leap forward, I think. And the succeeding internationalization of, of UBNA a particular and relevant contribution. In the last 10 years, more than 3,000 Navarres students have participated in mobility programs and uh, UBNA has received more than 2,000 students. We are witnessing unprecedented phenomena in the recent story of Navarra, and the consequences of which are still difficult to measure, since we still do not have objective studies. This fact, this mobility, is helping to forge a society that, believe, that we believe is more open and permeable, and undoubtedly different. The experience tell us that uh, our students return transformed and more aware of, the, uh, on, of how the world really is. The same probably happens with those who study in the public university of Navarra once they return to the, their country. Without doubt, this phenomena of internationalization is contributing to Navarra being more and better known in the world and that the world is more and better known in Navarra. The UBNA contributes to the worldliness, wor worldliness of Navarra and to the Navarrization of the world. And both, both circumstances are convenient, as obviously Navarra has much to learn from the world and Navarra also has much to show to the world. Finally, a few con conclusions. The internationalization of universities, which is gradually acquiring greater importance, is a powerful tool for cultural diplomacy. Studies and analysis need to be done to know the extent and scope of university internationalization in general terms and in particular as an instrument of cultural diplomacy. From the public university of Navarra, we are convinced that its internationalization is having a great impact in the society of Navarra and of course in UBNAT itself. The final and supreme aim must be a just peace that must be earned and deserved. It does not come from free. Universities are proud to contribute to this mutual knowledge and to be an especially active element. The Public University of Navarra is also very proud to humbly contribute to this challenge, maybe the challenge. Thank you. <laughs>